Hello and welcome to another update video on the layout. Just thought I'd post a quick video to show that I've started on the scenery for the cliffs. This bit here with the tunnel at the back scene that's still wet, that's why it looks bubbly. This bit here will be disguised as a lift up hatch to allow me access to the tunnel in case anything comes off and to uh, clean the track. Moving on, as you can see the sky back scene, it looks bubbly, it looks very bubbly on the video, but that will dry flat. It's only because it's literally just been laid in the last two or three minutes. Here are the cliffs. These are the rock formers, real rocks behind them. Plaster bandage over the front, very sturdy, very sturdy. Looks very effective. I've sprayed the top brown once the plaster had dried to uh, allow me to put the back scene on without getting any paint on it. Any dodgy bits of back scene will be hidden as there's going to be trees and bushes and all sorts on the top there eventually. But yeah, it's just a short video to show you the cliffs now that they're done. It needs a bit of tidying up now, but I'm going to give it a few days to dry. That should be the general look of it. Here you can see the trains, uh, the train track, the tunnel mouths. And this here will be the beach, with possibly a sea wall going along there. Very pleased with how the cliffs have come out. There's another hatch here. Another disguised hatch. These rocks, real rocks, I've picked up on the dog walk. Hide a hatch to the hidden sidings. That will again be disguised by hedgerows that will be removable. And then that all needs tidying up that plaster. And then you move around to the other side, the other side of the tunnel has been done and then that will be a rock face from an old quarry uh, just to disguise that little side in there there's a lot of plaster about but it's not, looks worse than it is, a lot of it just needs sweeping up, hoovering up but uh, yeah, only a very short video this time I'm going to work shortly but I thought I'd give you an update of what the seawall will look like so uh, yeah, if you like it, next up I should be painting the cliffs doing a bit more scenery on this side then I'll go on to track ballasting afterwards so if you like what you're seeing give the video a thumbs up share it and then subscribe the next few videos should be detailing the scenery along the seawall section here tidying up and painting the tunnel mouths painting the cliffs ballasting adding the third rail because it will be third rail southern southern region-ish up there I plan to have campsites and trees and all, all manner of things so hopefully in the next couple of weeks after I've finished the stint at work you'll get another video but let me know your opinions thoughts on my cliffs they will be a grey colour not white as in the video tempted to leave them white but we're not modelling Dover and uh, I don't want to do them red as that's a bit cliche for Dawlish so uh, yeah, if you do like what you're seeing, give us a like and subscribe, as I said. And there'll be a, uh, another video in the next couple of weeks.